Hello, YouTube! Welcome to Empire X's, or the EX Gaming Community, depending on your sexual preference. Our picks for best games of 2012. It has been a magnificent day for gaming, or not day, year, fuck, when to talk. So, I'm gonna go through each of our uploaders, currently uploading, and give their um, opinions on the games. First off, we have Tienan. Tienan, his pick for best game of the year, was Final Fantasy XIII-2. Be honest, I haven't played it, so I can't make an opinion, but, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's okay. I didn't have an issue with 13-1. It wasn't a great game, but whatever. After that, we have my friend, one of my really good friends, Diex. His pick of the year was actually, well, I'd say Sleeper Hit. <laughs> and it's got sleep in the title. No, seriously, his uh, top game is Sleeping Dogs, a.k.a. True Crime, as it used to be known. But before we name our number one pick and my pick, we're going to do the other awards. Now, first off, quickly now, best sports game. I don't play many of these. I, I play very few of them. Mainly WWE and occasionally UFC, etc. I'm sure they're all great, and before I go on, let me just say, these are just our opinions, and all these games, even if they're not in, on the list or anything, are actually good. But our top sports game is UFC Undisputed 3. Great job, THQ. It was actually a fun game. If WWE counts as a sports game, it'd be a close second. After that, we have Best Shooter of the Year. Now, this is a tough one because we had a bunch of shooters. I don't play many of them, but all my friends do, and they were telling me about them, so I know a little knowledge. We had Halo 4, Borderlands 2, Call of Duty. Not a big fan of that franchise, but don't rage in the comments. I'm sure it's an okay game. <laughs> um, let's see, we had Doom 3 BFG. That came out. It's actually a good addition, in my opinion. Um, but the overall, we all agreed that the best shooter of this year was Borderlands 2. What a fantastic game, from what I've seen at least. After that, best action adventure game. There were a bunch of these that we all played that we thought were good. Most of them I doubt anyone else played. We had uh, Never Dead, we had Ashura's Wrath, if that counts. We had Lollipop Chainsaw. And then we had Dishonored. Now, again, we all agreed on this. Ashura's Wrath won that award. Next would be Best Graphics. <clears throat> Many games came out this year with really great graphics. Halo 4 being one of them. Resident Evil 6. Ashura's Wrath. Uh, just a, a bunch of games had really good graphics. Uh, Dishonored, Assassin's Creed 3, all of these games were fantastic in the graphical department. Overall, we all decided Assassin's Creed 3 was the winner for this. Now, <clears throat> Best HD Remake. This is another tough one to do because there were so many of those. You had um, <coughs> damn it. You had Devil May Cry HD Collection. You had, um, Doom 3 BFG, which is just Doom 3 HD, more or less. You had Zone of the Enders HD Collection. You had Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD Collection. Um, and then a bunch of other games Sonic Adventure 2 HD, Nights into Dreams HD. Um, the Sega CD Collection, as we all call it, or Sega Saturn Collection, which is Virtual Fighter 2 HD, Sonic Fighters HD, Fighting Vipers HD. Um, but overall, Zone of the Enders HD Collection wins the award. They did a, Konami did a fantastic job restoring that. All the other collections look good too, and I know I didn't mention all of them, there was Silent Hill HD Collection, a few others. 
but again, they're all great games, so go check them out. After that, we have Best Fighting Game. Now, this is one genre that I actually speak on fine, because I'm the only one among our whole group who OCDs over fighting games. Just to name a few, we have Naruto Storm 3, or Generations. I used to think it was 3 until they fucked me in the ass with that one, and said, oh no, 3's coming out. Anyway, so Generations. Um, we have Street Fighter X Tekken, which, you know, it was okay. Didn't have an issue with it. Tekken Tag 2, Dead or Alive 5, Persona 4 Arena, Marvel vs. Capcom Origins, which I guess would be under HD Collection Remake or whatever, but I don't care, it was still fun. Um, DBZ HD Collection, even though it's just an old rendition. And WWE 13. All of these are fantastic games. Oh, and Soul Calibur 5, but that game is not on this list because it's a piece of shit. Yeah, I honestly, you know, if there are people who like it, I'd like to know why. The game, the fighting in it's okay, but the game otherwise is a piece of shit. I don't care what anyone says. I'm sorry. I just had to put that out there. Biggest waste of money. It's even cheaper on Amazon right now than Soul Calibur 4. Says a lot. But overall, best fighting game, by far actually, is Persona 4 Arena. Atlas and Arc System Works did a fantastic, fantastic job with that game. Rumors going around that there's either going to be DLC or a super Persona 4 Arena type thing. And I'm, I buy that shit. I bought all the other DLC that they had, even though it was optional. I, I just, I really love that game. Now, most anticipated game of next year. This is like what we're all waiting for. Dai's pick for this was GTA 5. Keenan's pick for this was FF13, The Return of Lightning, or FF13-3 as I call it. Um, my pick? Honestly, I'm really hyped for Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma, the third entry. I heard it just came out in Japan, but it's not even out on consoles yet, and I can't wait for that. One of my other favorite series. There's also Naruto Storm 3 to look forward to. There's Injustice, Gods Among Us. There's Watch Dogs, Splinter Cell, the list goes on. God of War Ascension, Gears of War Judgment. There's a bunch of great games coming out. So 2013 looks like a great year for gaming. <clears throat> Character of the Year. There's a bunch that are really good. Connor from Assassin's Creed 3. Dude from Dishonored. I don't know his name, so don't shoot me for that. Um, let's see now, who else? Um... Master Chief, Halo 4, he's really good, um, but overall, again, Ashra, one character of the year, I know he's just a pretty much rip off of Kratos with his, but, I don't know, I just, I really liked Ashra, Yasha too, from Ashra's Wrath, Yasha would be up there as well, and this is something we all talk about and everything, um, Finally, though, my game of the year, it's just mine, this isn't our full pick, my game of the year would be, hmm, I don't know, it's, my game of the year is going to be, have to be a close tie between Persona 4 Arena and The Shura's Wrath. I honestly spent more time in both those games than in anything else this year. But then... Our Game of the Year, Empire X as a whole, we all agreed that our Game of the Year is Walking Dead, Telltale Game Series. That that is that also went download the big Game of the Year, downloadable Game of the Year. Forgot to do that award, sorry. But that is a great game. We've come a long way with gaming, though. I mean, it's. This year alone, 25th anniversary of some great franchises. Metal Gear, Street Fighter, I did a video on that collection a while back, you can go look it up. Final Fantasy came out 25 years ago. I think Mega Man's 25th anniversary is coming up, if it already didn't. <coughs> you know, it's, in 
40 years ago, the Odyssey, the very first game console, well, or the Pong console, came out. So these past 40 years, I, I'd say we've come a long way. And personally, I, I can't wait to see what gaming will do next. Anyway, that was Empire X's picks for Game of the Year. I hope you all enjoyed. And... Bye!